So, hindi ko napatatagalin. No? Let's all welcome, brothers and sisters, our regional director for uh, Lingkod, uh, GMAX Region, our brother Bobby Kitain. Happy New Year, brothers and sisters! Happy New Year din daw from our brothers and sisters from Lingkod, Singapore. We just came from Singapore last weekend, uh, Melissa and uh, Bert. And from our brothers and sisters there, sabi, pake, pake bati na lang kami sa mga kapatid sa Metro Manila. Namimiss daw nila kayo. Sinong gustong pumunta ng Singapore? Yan, sige. Kausapin niyo si RT uh, ng libreng ticket sa MRT. Okay. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, uh, can we just ask the people around us, anong bago sa'yo ngayong taon? Bagong ligo! Bagong toothbrush! Si Brother Abyong, bagong gupit. Yan, napansin ba? Brothers and sisters, para lang tayo ganahan, let me, let me propose a cheer to you based on our theme. When I say in God's presence, you will answer with God's power, pero titingin ka sa kanan mo. Pag sinabi kong with God's power, sasagot ka, in God's presence, titingin ka naman sa kaliwa mo. Dali-dali, ano? Sige. In God's presence, with God's power, now you know how to talk to somebody who does not look at you. Di ba? Ang dali-dali. How many believe that this year will be a great year for them? Despite all the possible challenges. Despite all the difficulties. Pakonti lang pakonti, eh, no? <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I declare, this will be a great year for each one of us, not because we're great, but because our God is great. Amen? Palakpakan natin ng Panginoon, brothers and sisters. In God's presence, with God's power. Let me begin by sharing with you a, a short story. During the holidays, there was an incident at our house. For our guests, I'm a married man with four children. And usually, magkasabay po kami natutulog sa kama. No? Yung kama namin, magkasabay kami. And uh, at a certain point, kasha pa naman. But recently, just a few weeks ago, napansin ko na na gabi-gabi nagigising ako dahil sa sipa, sa... Sa suntok, minsan si Franco, dito na yung ulo niya, yung gano'n. Then I realized my children are all growing up at nahuhulog na talaga ako sa kama. There was one time, nakagano'n na talaga ako, ano? So, one day, during the, the Christmas vacation, I decided to put my foot down. And I said to them, Tonight, I will sleep on the floor. I will sleep on the floor. Bahala kayo dyan. Ayaw ko nang masipa sa chan. Ayaw ko nang higaan mo ako sa chan. Sabi ko kay Franco, I'm gonna sleep on the floor. Suddenly, my second daughter, Mara, started to cry. Ko, I, want to, I want to sleep beside you. And I said, and then, therefore, sleep on the floor. <laughs> Sabi nung, nung anak ko, okay, Papa, I'll sleep on the floor. Ko, huh? You're willing to sleep on the floor? And her answer blew me away. What was her answer? For as long as I am with you. Oh, sige mag-sleep on the floor ka na nga, ano? Sige, ano ka na dyan? Brothers and sisters, we might find ourselves on the floor this year, face down with our difficulties and challenges. But it doesn't matter, amen? For as long as we are with God. In His presence, that is the most important thing. In His presence. It might be on the floor, on the bed, on the roof. It doesn't matter for us. As lingkod ng Panginoon, we say, Lord, what only matters is that You are with us and we are with You. Because in Your presence, there is power. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, I will not assure you that your year will be smooth sailing. Everybody say, ah. Oh. Oh. But I can assure you, whether it's rough sailing or smooth sailing, God will be there. Everybody say, hooray. hooray. Because that is our bottom line. Amen? Amen? We don't pray at the side of the year, Lord, may there be no problems this year. We don't pray that. What we pray, Lord, is that, Lord, there will be problems, there will be difficulties, there will be challenges. 
but in everything, just make sure we are in your presence every single day of the year. That is our prayer, and that is our goal. And that's why our theme this year, yun, everybody read. I can do all things, whatever situation we know we can be victorious. Whatever situation we face in our careers, in our finances, in our relationships, we will be victorious because we can do all things in Him who strengthens us. Do you, do you believe, brothers and sisters, that if we are in God's presence, we will have God's power? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? I, I was supposed to believe that until I read a passage a few days ago. Nung nabasa ko yung passage sa Bible, I said, mm -mm, there's something wrong with this passage. I don't know if you've read it. The first reading, I think, last Wednesday. It was the story of the Philistines defeating the Israelites. And when I read that story, I said, uh-oh. Maybe sometimes, even if we have God's presence, there is no power. Let me tell you the story. If you, if you know the story... I'm sure familiar kayo, but let me just share it with you, but I will not read the whole story kasi mahaba. What happened here was that the Israelites battled the Philistines, and the Philistines defeated the Israelites. 4,000 died sa Israelites. And when they were defeated, what did the Israelites say? When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel say, why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today by the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh, that it may go into battle among us and save us from the grasp of our enemies. So sabi nila, Ark of the Covenant, that is the answer. Everybody say, Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant, brothers and sisters, symbolizes the presence of God with His people. So sabi nila, ha, kaya tayo natahalo. Kasi wala yung Ark of the Covenant, wala yung presence ni God. So kunin yung Ark, kunin yung Ark. Because they already have an experience of this. When they, when they were trying to, to, to build, tear down the walls of Jericho, they brought the Ark of the Covenant. Sabi na, that is the solution. Bring the presence of God. And so when they brought the presence of God, they started to cheer. The Lord is here. Ay, di ko alam ano yung cheer nila. Basta, basta masaya sila. Afterward, narinig ng mga, ano, narinig ng mga Philistines, oh no! The gods have come to them. They don't even know who Yahweh is. But they said, gods have come to them. Kinabahan na sila. And so their backs were against the wall and they fought in despair. And because they were desperate people, once again, the Philistines defeated the Israelites. At hindi lang po 4,000. 4, I think it's 30,000 men were killed the second time around. Nung nabasa ko yun, I said, Whoa. Ibig sabihin pala, God's presence does not necessarily mean God's power. Hindi nyo ba naisip yun? Sabihin nyo nga, in God's presence, there is power. There is power. Because what happened here? They had God's presence, but how come they were defeated, brothers and sisters? My prayer is that this will not happen to us this year. And that's why let's learn our lessons from this passage. Let me share with you three lessons tonight and then I'll end. Three lessons on God's presence and God's power. First one. Everybody read. Seek God's presence more than God's power. Seek God's presence more than God's power. The Israelites were just after victory. They were just after winning against the Philistines. That's why they brought God's presence. They were not after God. They were after God's power. Right? Everybody say bad news. Sometimes that can be true with us. Brother Bobby, kailan nangyayari yun? Sino sa inyo dito nagsasabi, ayaw ko mag-prayer meeting kasi hindi naman masyado life-giving. Ayaw ko mag-prayer meeting kasi hindi naman ako masyado na-inspire sa songs. Ayaw ko mag-simba kasi talagang ang pangit ng homily. We go sometimes to our prayer meetings and to our action groups not because of God, but because of what we can get from God. Bato bato sa langit ang maan po, wag magalit. Guilty din po ako dyan. Sometimes I said, pipili ako ng simbahan. Dito boring mag-humili yung pare. I choose because my mindset is that I want to get 
from God rather than I want to be with God. We should graduate from wanting to get from God to wanting to be with God. Kung bagong CLS ka lang, okay lang yun, hahanapin mo. Saan ba yung inspiring talk? Saan ba yung, nasa na yung high ng worship? Nasa na yung galing na... But as you grow older in the faith, brothers and sisters, can I challenge you? Focus more on God's face rather than on God's hand. Focus more on God rather than what you can get from Him. When I was, uh, that's part of maturity. Everybody say the word maturity. maturity. When I was a little boy, my father used to take me to Araneta Coliseum. But before that, pupunta muna kami ng COD. Alam niyo pa ba yung COD? Uh, po kayong umamin, mahalata ang edad. Wala na pong COD. Gateway na ngayon. <laughs> COD, pagkatapos magpipiesta carnival kami. At nanonood kami ng PBA sa Araneta Coliseum. At afterwards, magsishakis kami. I love those times. Not because I was with my dad, but because of what I could get from my dad. Recently, my dad is already old. Senior citizen, retired, wala nang pera, may sakit pa. But every time he comes to Manila, I would still bring him no longer to COD but to Gateway. Not to Fiesta Carnival but to Time Zone. <laughs> Tatay ko, siya gano'n. And to Araneta Coliseum to watch PBA. And he doesn't pay. I do. Dati, binubuhat pa niya ako sa shoulders niya para lang makita ko si Jawo, makita ko si ganyan. Nowadays, hindi ko naman siya binubuhat. But I, I make sure he has a good seat so he can watch. And afterwards, we go to shake his still. But I pay the bill. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you this, and I love every minute of it. Because I'm more after no longer what I can get from my dad, but just being with my dad. That is maturity. The same thing in our faith, brothers and sisters. Can we graduate from the saying, Lord, I want more. I go to a prayer meeting because I want to be blessed. Can you make a decision? I want to go to the prayer meeting because I just want to be with God. I just want to be with my brothers and sisters. I just want to know not so much what I can get, but what I can give. Sisters and brothers, God's presence more than God's power. Unfortunately, marami tayong kilala. I won't mention names, but people, not probably from Lincoln, but from other communities, who just go because of what they can get from God. May kakilala po ako, it's a true story of a brother who he was very active because he was, he was active in the, in, the, in the community and he was starting a business. Nagulat na lang ako one day, nabalitaan ko, hindi na nagpe-prayer meeting. Sito, bakit? Anong nangyari sa kanya? Ay, kasi nalugi yung negosyo niya at nagtampo siya kay God. Ayaw na raw niya mag-prayer meeting. Wow. I'm not judging the brother. All I'm saying is, why are we here? Is it because of what we can get from God? Or is it because of God Himself? Seek God's presence more than God's power. On the other hand, I know of a sister in Ligaya ng Panginoon. Her name is Rosan Romero. She has multiple sclerosis. Alam niyo multiple sclerosis? Hindi niyo alam? Hindi ko rin alam yun. <laughs> yung multiple sclerosis, it's a slow, debilitating illness. Dahan-dahang uh, nanghihina yung nerves mo. At ang masaklap nito, she's been sick for the last more than 35 years now. But she still serves the Lord. She still loves the Lord. One time she was guest in a radio program with Nads. And um, yung radio pro- alam yung radio program natin, no? We have a radio program, Loving Leo. <laughs> so, we have kakaiba ka. And she was our guest. And I asked her, I said, Ate Rosan, hindi ka ba nagta- nagtatampo kay Lord? Hindi ka niya pinapagaling? And her answer just, just, bro- just, just allowed me to realize how great a woman this is. She said, Bob, to me, I'm just happy being intimate with God. If God will heal, if God will not heal me, it's okay. If God will heal me, it's fine. And if He doesn't, it doesn't matter. But if He heals me, that will just be a bonus. Because I want God more than the healing. Seek God's presence more than God's power.